It was once the preserve of game hunters and museum curators. But some grieving pet owners are now seeking out the services of taxidermist Gary Robbins. When they bring a pet into us, they're very emotional. They've lost a loved one of the family. And uh, we have to take that pet and assure them that it's going to be handled properly. Today, that family pet is a freshly deceased rabbit. The owner is Carlos Borrego. My daughter's rabbit and he passed away. Uh, you told me to put it in the refrigerator, and I did. Do you have a name for him? His name was Thumper. Oh, OK. My daughter's five and uh, doesn't know yet, so I want to get it done. Is there any kind of position you want him in? Uh, he slept a lot, so I like him sleeping. OK, that'll be fine. The challenge for the taxidermist is to put the appearance of life into a lifeless body. We offer him a service. We explain to him what's going to be done. We can't put the actual personality or the life back into the animal, but we can give you the, the replica of what you remember. He wears gloves for his own protection. Even a dead animal can harm him, potentially passing on diseases like anthrax, Lyme's disease, avian flu, even rabies. He uses traditional taxidermy methods to begin the operation. He skins the rabbit and removes the hide in one piece. This is our rabbit with the inside out, the skin here. And we'll just turn him right side out again. There's his nose, eyes, ears. Basically, there's what the skin of the rabbit looks like at this point. Gary scrapes all traces of flesh and tissue from the hide. Anything left would stink and rot in the finished product. He covers the skin in salt. What the salt does is take all the moisture out, takes all the fat, the oils. We want to dry this out thoroughly as possible. The hide must dry for five days before being sent to a tannery. Gary uses Thumper's carcass to form a body mold. First, marking out the shape. Then, carving the shape in hardened foam. Pet taxidermy is a lengthy and expensive process. A rabbit like Thumper costs around $900. A large dog, up to $2,500. And pet owners have high expectations. A lot of taxidermists won't do pets because people are hard to please. You know, they, they want to bring back the realism. They want to remember that pet as, as it was in true life. And, uh, Sometimes that expression is really hard to put back into the animal. 